Well, here we are uh, at the, uh, the Carroch Walk. I've just come over from a uh, Dalbrek Brig. It's Sunday, 12th of April, 2020, which means it's Easter Sunday. Now that uh, easterly wind is back. It was a beautiful day yesterday, quite pleasant in the sunshine, quite warm too. However, it's gone back to a lot cooler and as I say the wind's coming from the east and uh, at this time of year generally a drying wind but uh, certainly a cold wind. Uh, the trees are taking a long time this year to come to anything. Uh, I've just noticed that the uh, the ash leaf is out on some trees uh, and that's uh, preceding the oak. So the old folklore says um, ash before oak were in for a soak which generally uh, means that we're going to get a wet summer so we'll see what happens there but uh, yeah oak before ash were in for a splash generally means some thunderstorms but uh, as I say ash before oak were in for a soak Certainly had about four, maybe five weeks of quite uh, exceptionally dry weather after a, a fairly mild and wet winter. I'm out here, as I say, at the, the Carrocks. I've been out here recently and I made a, a video diary. I think that was on the, well, at the end of March. I'm sure it was the 30th of March, so thereabouts. Um, maybe the 31st, I can't quite recall. So I'm back out. Uh, the purpose of today's uh, little trail is uh, to collect some larch needles and some pine uh, for tea. So I decided to come up here um, because the last time I was up here I think I pointed out the larch hadn't come into bloom and if I'm pointing the camera correctly at it, sorry a bit fast, but you'll see that's the, uh, the larch up there where I'm heading. So here we have the the larch and uh, these little things here, the fresh growth, they're edible. Straight from the tree and of course they make an excellent tea and good for the immune system plus a whole list of other medicinal uses which I'll list for you. Um, I'll take a couple of these from the uh, twigs and we'll settle down and have some tea and uh, these are the, the cones here you see and uh, there's a delicious taste of these as you can imagine, there's a, a slight hint of uh, pine from them. But away up here, they're away from all impurities, you know, there's no traffic up here or um, humans. So, a fine spot to pick a few. And uh, I'll do that just now and come back to you shortly. So here we are a few minutes later and uh, we've got a you know a little bit of the uh, larch growth needles and uh, these will make an excellent tea you can either dry them or use them fresh I'll put some in the cup just shortly um, and as always it's customary it's something I always do is thank the uh, individual plant personally and uh, I thank the fairies because every plant has its own fairy uh, or fairies um, and therefore the larch fairies were uh, thanked most graciously for their uh, little harvest uh, today. So um, we're up here um, somewhere in the midst of uh, Octotire Estate. Um, sort of central point between the, the Hosh Octo Tire House and the Barbic and over here um, there's the site of an old fort 
just so not uh, you know the uh, plateau there it could be on where the trees are I think it's it's possible it was at those trees but it could also be just over here slightly more to the southeast um, there's no uh, there isn't any other documentation regarding this uh, fort um, and it's never ploughed this area so there's never any chance to find any you know hidden treasure or such like so the winds changed slightly um, over to the northeast a wee bit it's not terribly strong but it is chilly when you're exposed to it you'll see uh, Ben Borloch it's always in my my camera view at some point in the day there's Ben Borloch over there in the distance um, about 20 miles as the crow flies um, with still a fair bit of snow attached to it for uh, you know, almost about April so I have seen worse uh, snowfalls on Vorloch at this time of year and I think I cast my mind back to April uh, 2012 there was um, significant snow uh, on the uh, summer area um, around about the same time of year so that's me uh, taking some uh, the larch with a cup of tea and uh, I've taken the lot um, that I had in the cup what the, the larch basically does it kind of introduces a, a you know a, a unharmful for want of a better word let's say a, a, a body friendly bacteria um, so that enters the stomach and um, what happens is uh, the larch uh, itself, in moderate quantities of course, uh, the bacteria within uh, then start to eat up the, the bad bacteria that can uh, you know, take place in the gut uh, within the human body. So um, it's just trial and error and uh, a very fresh vegetable taste from them. Um, slightly sweet as well, I'd say, and also uh, there is a hint of uh, minty pine, very, very faint with the larch, but I will be uh, gathering some uh, pine needles later, uh, possibly Scots pine needles. We'll see uh, uh, what we're doing, but at the moment, I'm just relaxing here, a very quiet spot. Uh, as you're aware, we're still in lockdown from COVID-19, so it's nice to get out of doors. Uh, even just for a short while. So here we are picking more um, larch. I just saw a black rabbit um, down there. I managed to get a wee picture of it, but not very clearly. Uh, what was more interesting was the, the red squirrel. I couldn't get all the footage. I, I actually disturbed it coming across the fence, but um, I lay still for quite long enough and it was actually eating the larch itself, the very the very thing that I'm picking here, the very, very thing that I'm picking, that's what the squirrel was eating, or it appeared to be eating anyway, quite amazing. So quite a lot of red squirrels, um, I have to say that on each of my trips out recently I've been fortunate enough to see a red squirrel in every single outing. So that's encouragement, uh, encouraging uh, to think that the red squirrels are making a comeback uh, after such a long decline. 
So I'm just going to pick a little bit more larch. You can see how fresh and good that is. And uh, we'll take a little bit here and there and then we'll move on. <laughs> 